Well, hello to you, my darlings. I want to do a special reading for the new moon in Scorpio. And new moons are terrific for manifesting. Um, so we'll talk about, I think I'm going to want to do a special thing on Friday. That's the actual day of the new moon to talk more, to give you sort of a ritual. Um, but just so you know, you know, Scorpio is a water sign. So anything you do with water, cleansing, releasing, letting go, even though it's a new moon, there are definitely this year to me um, a lot of things that need purging. And it's not sort of enough to just do it once. <laughs> and what I mean by that is you don't have to keep going over and over and over things in your mind or reliving old things. But I do feel like this Scorpio moon, this is really about the things that you keep hidden from yourself or that you don't really like looking at, okay? Um, Scorpio is the natural ruler of eighth house and eighth house can be about secrets, things that we hide, things that we don't want other people to see about us. And I think it's a terrific time to really cleanse yourself and, you know, give yourself some love and some compassion and support around these things. Um, you know, uh, one of the things that I learned about eighth house, since that's where my North node is, it's also my path of destiny to, in my family, to be a bit of a black sheep. And so I'm the family secret, right? As an, as an adopted kid, I, I, you know, became the family secret on both sides, both, both families. Okay. So you can see how that might have played out, but I also feel a tremendous affinity for those who um, are black sheep of the family, who those who experience um, bullying or experience any kind of um, energy, negative energy around who you truly are. Okay, and I think I think many many people on this channel, many of you guys have experienced something like that, especially since you've opened up to your spiritual path. And you know, when you look at your numerology and your astrology, um, we're doing another uh, class around around that. It's sort of about finding your work and how can you get focused in your work as we move into a new year, really creating intention around. Uh, walking your spiritual path. That's happening December, the first week of December, I think. It's called the base, it's called the, um, it's like the beginner's spiritual business class, but really what it is, is it's focusing you on your uh, spiritual path so that you can open up to that as your livelihood, okay? So it's called the beginner's, but it's, you know, I, I find it to be super duper valuable in terms of understanding your soul contracts, understanding the things you're here to do and the things you're here to learn. And these things are the things that inform your mission. So it's like in the Scorpio full moon or new moon, if you kind of shove these things down about yourself, it's actually a gift. These are actually gifts. If you feel like, oh, this is kind of shameful or this is a secret that needs to be kept, there's something about it, especially in the Scorpio new moon, that you might want to re, since we're in the year of retrogrades, you want to revisit this, okay? You might want to revisit this. All right, so let's do a little bit of a reading here. I will do some stuff uh, on on Sunday about a ritual, but anything with water will do, right? Anything with water, because Scorpio, um, and a ritual is basically about um, cleansing in this in this regard. <sighs> So let's do a little reading here. I'm also doing the mid-month um, roundup for all zodiac signs on Patreon. So if you're interested, that's where you find all my individual zodiac readings. All right. So for you guys, this in this new Scorpio moon, those of you who are water signs may resonate with this more, most strongly. Those of you who have a lot of Scorpio in your in your chart. Um, <laughs> Breaking trail. Yeah, seriously? Like, you are going down some new paths, but they require your effort to do so. This is something that, like, if you're numerologically um, in an 11 year, or if you have uh, a lot of 11 or 22 or 33 in your numerology, whatever, 
these things are inviting you to reach that vibration. It doesn't mean you're sort of handed that vibration. This is about getting to that vibration of master teachers, of healers, uh, guides, mystics, shamans. A lot of you on this channel are infinite abundance, creating infinite abundance for yourself. That's beautiful. Abundance is pouring into your life. You can overcome anything. So immediately when I say to you, you can create anything in your life, what happens? Do you go like, oh, no, I can't. Like, do you immediately viscerally feel that that's just out of your reach? Because that's something to cleanse. That's something to work on in the new moon here as you're setting your intentions for 2021 as we're winding up this year. Um, cleansing any kind of, you're breaking through any kind of blocks to abundance here. That's a big message. And the universe has your back here, it always does, but the universe is reminding you that, I just saw Tower here, Tower and the Call. Okay, so your calling can be coming in very quickly here. Um, you're going to have to lay some trail for it though here. Okay, you're gonna have to look at those things that you wanna kept, keep hidden about yourself and see them differently, see them as calling cards, okay? See them as something that's important for your path forward, okay? So the decks I'm using, the Denise Lynn Sacred Traveler deck, this is called the Good Tarot. I know, I kind of love it. <laughs> I kind of love that this is, <laughs> this is what uh, they named this deck. I think it's a very beautiful deck. Just saying, you know, I love, I, I love to see all the decks that people send me and that I buy for myself. All right, Six of Pentacles underneath. Give and take is important. Balance is important this year. Balance is important in this Scorpio uh, new moon. Four of Swords. I'll talk you through this. Hermit. Wow, it's a big healing energy here. Uh, Knight of Wands. Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Sag who is healing. Seven of Pentacles. Seems like it's been taking a long time. Okay, it seems like it's been taking a long time. This could be you too. I'm just gonna move these, there we go. Um, this could be you too, like really has been um, a year behind, behind closed doors, okay? 10 of swords, something is definitely ending. It can be the closing off of other people or the final purging of what's going on for you. Five of cups, yeah, final purging feels right to me. Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups. Ooh, look at that. Emperor, oh my darling. Okay, so 2020 is a four year, a year of structure. Um, we've had a lot of restrictions in this year, in 2020, but this Emperor is here to say to you that there is a new beginning, all right? This is very important, a new beginning that you have asked for, Nine of Cups. So if you have been feeling like, hey, I've been behind closed doors and I really am itching to get moving. The Aries energy, which is connected to the emperor, is about moving things forward, okay? So that's kind of nice that that's really what's going on here. Oh dear. Lots of work happening right around the house today, so sorry about that. Um, the heal, you can be dealing with somebody who's an Aries or a Virgo. Aries or a Virgo, and there's something different about this right now. There's something done. Whatever the, whatever the previous way of dealing, like this took a long time. There was, you know, it's not, not a lot of balance. Six of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles here. Woo, that one just jumped right out. The Eight of Wands, I'll get it. Page of Pentacles, High Priestess, Devil Energy here. So this says to me that you know now what the pitfalls are with this person. You understand or on this path. You're very, very, you've become wiser. You've done your, your internal work. You've done your, well, to, to date. You've done what you needed to do. And I feel like you see that dealing with this person was something that needed your attention, needed your intuition, needed you to learn some new things. 
The contract, the soul contract with this person was very powerful. Whoever this is, Capricorn, Pisces, Capricorn, Pisces, Virgo, Aries. Oh, I thought he was done with this. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> all right. So, I do feel like um, it's like you've come to terms with this. And this can be about something that's in your life that you have uh, needed to let go of that was causing you pain uh, because it wasn't really balanced for you. It wasn't really bringing you, yielding any kind of abundance or anything. It was just effort that was going out. There was nothing coming back in. So what you're needing to do is to understand that the wisdom you've created around this, around healing, around this, this um, experience if this is just you, then it's going to help you overcome any obstacle. Okay? It's going to help you overcome any obstacle. And I like that, the, I actually like that the devil shows up here with the high priestess because this hermit energy, this wisdom, this energy of you, you know, sort of being inside yourself and learning really shows up with this high priestess here too about, hey, I see you. Okay. Now, if you're dealing with somebody here, I feel like this relationship, there was something about it that was, I mean, I'm going to say toxic. It could have been like a third party situation. It could have been a situation that was just not healthy for you anymore. Or you've been like, oh, I get it. I see the lesson now. Ba bang. Thanks a lot. Thanks for playing. Bye now. <laughs> right. There, there's that energy too, because I feel like this is you of like, Oh, wow. Nine of cups, ace of wands. I did it. I figured it out. I know what the lesson is. Now I get to be free of this. Ten of swords, five of cups here. There can be some regret about not being able to move forward sooner, but I'm here to tell you in 2020, <laughs> this is what most of us have been challenged to do, which is really reflect. All the retrogrades are about re, okay? Reflect, retool, reconsider, reconciliation reunion okay with self and there is a tremendous sense of purging in this year too okay so when you've reflected on things you're like oh now because i'm seeing it through the eyes of this hermit and this high priestess i get it the way this relationship was handled or the way it was in my life has to go so I saw this in the Twin Flame reading I did. I did a live for the Patreon folks, and we saw that the, that the masculine is having some real awareness of, ooh, come back here, Eight of Wands. The, um, the Divine Masculine is having some awareness around this Ten of Swords, like things being done, completion, and there is regret here. Okay, just let me say this to you. I do think Eight of Wands, there will be a conversation about this. I feel like if this is a person coming back to you, they're not coming back in this sense. They may have been this person, this Sagittarian energy, Knight of Wands, kind of a player, dipping in and out of your life. But now, in the next 10 days or so, I feel like this connection is very strong spiritually. You might have been misunderstanding this person like, you know that this is a twin flame. You know that this is a, a very spiritual connection. But the way they were playing it was so Knight of Wands that it was like, uh, I, you know, I know you're my twin, but this just energy does not match the twin uh, flame journey that I'm, I'm wanting or I'm expecting. But here's the thing. This is the lesson. It's like, can you see, can you look straight in the eyes, straight at a twin flame and go, you're not living your spiritual path and I am out. I'm not here for that. Okay. And I, I feel like that is something that a lot of you have been challenged with that you see the person you believe to be your spiritual twin or your, um, has a very high frequency of relationship, but the 3D experience of it is so not spiritual. 
low vibration, toxic, whatever it is, you're seeing it, you're like, okay, I, I, you know, I feel bad calling this a spiritual connection because it's just so um, not, it feels low vibe. And how can it be a twin if this person is dealing with all of this stuff and all of these horrific, you know, kind of low vibration toxicities in their life? Four of Swords. This person um, likely has been healing this year. If this is just you, you likely have been healing from a lot of low vibration toxicities this year. So this Scorpio um, new moon really gets you to, since the new moon, you don't can't see it, right? It's, it's, it's dark. Um, and Scorpio is dark. But the fact is that your Ace of Wands here is the torch. Okay, it's like the big match. It's like, and you're seeing things now more clearly than ever. You're seeing what you want. You're seeing how to move forward. I feel like a lot of you might have been stuck in this energy of, well, they're my twin, but God, this is just so not what I expected. This is just not what I envision when we're talking about a spiritual connection. I don't like how this is working. I don't like, I la 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 la. So this person has had to go into the deep darkness of themselves and cut out, like literally surgery could have happened. Surge, actual surgery could have happened. Um, but more likely spiritual, some kind of spiritual surgery happened um, that completely shifted the game for them or shifted their perception. Um, I feel like if this is you, what's happening here is any toxicity around relationships or money or career or any kind of 3D experience that you're like, okay, um, I want to be a spiritual teacher, spiritual guide. I struggle with money. I think money is not part of that, right? All of these reconciliations of any kind of blocks that you have that are low vibration and toxic. High vibration abundance is about flow, is about allowing things to flow through your life, is, a, is about allowing abundance to come in. Oh, wow, now I can help these people. Wow, now I have freedom that I can do this and do that and do this, right? That's what abundance is to be used for, is to help you support your message. So if you look at it like that, um, you can see how um, financial well-being is extremely spiritual. Okay, the universe is abundant. There is no one pie. I've talked about this many, many times, okay? The universe is abundant. It's when you get stuck in materialism. That's a different energy. Materialism is stuff for stuff's sake. It's not used. It's not purposeful. It's not of service or anything like that. It's just, you know, gross, <laughs> all right? Um, true abundance is about with an open heart, compassion, sharing, loving, you know, being uh, able to be of service, being able to be a teacher, being able to move more into your spiritual path. And it's also, it's very, very um, important, I feel, that if you haven't yet really gotten, and I, I had this message a lot this summer, and I haven't seen it so much lately, so I'm hoping that a lot of you have heeded this call to really become more balanced about your money, to really become and understand the flow, the inflow and the outflow, and have it be about growth, not just like money in and money out, not just like um, a relationship with money where you just want it to, you know, um, to wallpaper over cockroaches, I feel like, of your own well-being, your own spirituality, your own needs, wants, desires, um, feelings around your mission and path on this life. You know, having a good relationship with money is taking care of it because it's energy, all right? It's taking good care of what you're given. How big, how small, whatever. It's about taking good care of it. So, yay. All right. So I'm like, oh, it's nice to see you, abundance. It's not, right? There's a little bit of that, like joy for any kind of abundance that enters your life. Okay. 
So I feel like this is really good to me. It feels like there is, for some of you, there's movement in a relationship that is that was very toxic. The toxic part of this is over, okay? And for some of you, I do feel like there will be a conversation within the next 10 days uh, or so that whether it's with yourself or with this person, you're going to release and let go of any sadness. It's like closing the door, completion on that experience. Now, this person, if they are in the hermit energy, if they're in this healing mode or energy, you're going to experience them differently. So that's where this new beginning, this is what you've manifested, and this is where we're going in the future. I do see um, Sag and Aries and Virgo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Pisces here. So we'll take a look at that in the extended. Um, I'm going to continue on with this reading. If you'd like to continue on with me, this is the Scorpio New Moon reading. So this is about things coming out of the dark. Things you might have kept secret, right? Was it shameful that this was a third party or something along those lines? Let's see where we go with it. I will look at those four zodiac signs. Oh, Capricorn, right there in the middle. Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, Sag, and Aries. So we'll take a look at that. If you like the readings I do, please like, subscribe, and share. If you want to continue on with me, there's a link below for the extended, and I will see you over there.